What's up, you guys? Neva Random here with a Love and Hip Hop Hollywood episode 12 review. Kind of recap. Hope you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I did a good group. Let's get into Love and Hip Hop. All right. So it starts off with Princess and Ray. We already know she took a dip in a pool. So after all that was said and done, he was like, it's over. She ain't loyal. She, you know, she talked about, you know, I was, you know, talk talked about in the bed and she talked to Morgan and Morgan ain't loyal. So he dropped that trick. Oh, yeah. Sorry for the, for the fuzziness and light. I'm sorry. It's going to get better. It's dead week. So I'm just, I'm going with emotion. But yeah, he, um. It was like it's over with a uh, old girl Morgan. He dropped Morgan, so he uh, after he dropped Morgan, he decided to push old girl in the pool. <laughs> uh, after that, it was Soldier and uh, Soldier Boy and Nia, and I'm just like, no, no, this is the part where I'm just, I'm not just like at this point. So much has happened to this poor baby. Like she, uh, she lost the baby, then a car accident. I'm just like, girl, get away from Soldier Boy. He's he's a hex to you, boo. He's a hex. That's all I can say. But I guess it was a good thing he was nice enough to, you know, care about her feelings and care for her and the baby while she was uh, in a car accident. Good thing homegirl was so safe. That's all I can say about that. Uh, at this point, Tara is uh, working for the guy. She uh, twisting and twirling and uh, getting ready to <clears throat> sing her out for this new little uh, showcase that Bird giving us. So, y'all not sure this whole time. All it's been is tea. I mean, not tea talk, but uh, yeah, kind of tea talk. You know, sitting down and talking. Everybody just been talking to each other and, you know, reminiscing. And this was like, I guess this is since this is the last episode, which I thought they had like two more, but that's neither here nor there. But, um, Berg is, uh, a <clears throat> like I said, giving her a showcase or whatever. She talks to Berg about her and Hazel. He didn't give that damn conversation no more than two seconds. So after that, um, <clears throat> He then tells her that Masika and him are an item now. And she like. What? Bitch, what? So, uh. <clears throat> they proceed to talk. And I swear, y'all, this is girl talk. This is, mm hmm girl, yes. Um, I'm with him, girl. Oh, yeah. You with him? You with her? Okay. Mm hmm girl. But you know you love Ray. You know you love him. And I'm just like, oh, Lord. All right, now. And it was so funny. Burger was like, you know you still love him. I'm just like, all right, bro. All right, bro, bro. You're going to lose your love. <laughs> all right, got a little thing lying. Don't let nobody know you're sensitive. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> after that, it was Fizz and Marion. And um, they cooking books up in the uh, studio. Fizz's song was cool. I just don't know if he, you know, the best rapper in the world. But, you know, when you cute, you you know, you, you can get through. That's how a lot of them do. So, yeah, him and, uh, him and Amarion talking. And they talking like Tia Marie and What's-His-Face talking. Another girl talk T-Session like, ew. <laughs> um, like, uh, so, yeah, he asking Amarion, how you doing? Amarion's like, yeah, we good. We about to make this money. About to make this threat, this cheddar. And, um. Uh, he was asking uh, Fizz, sorry for being out of the camera, <laughs> asking Fizz how he was doing. And Fizz was like, look, I'm just trying to, you know, cohabitate with everybody. I'm done with Amanda. And then, oh, y'all, he talked about Nikki. Oh, he talked about Nikki again. He was like this. He was, why was he like, why was he like this? Why? Oh, y'all, I just, I lost my mind. And I was like. She's fake, but you know, I'm mm, I'm not a hater. It's just it's fakeness to me. It's really fakeness. Like I, I yeah, I don't. I just I don't I don't understand. But you know, hey girl, do do what you do. And I'm just every time he did it, and they were talking about the fat ass and this ass and sit on this, and I'm just like, all right. But I guess they they talk when it's, but you know, you know. They get mega eighties. They get mega eighties. No, I'm playing. No, they don't. I'm playing. They don't. They do not. They well, one of them don't. And it's not the light skin. <laughs> so Nikki and Hazel come sit together, and y'all like if your friendship is built off a mother, off a person that y'all don't like. No. What is it? The friend of my friend. The the friend of my enemy is my friend. 
That that don't always work, but you know, that's neither here nor there. But in love of hip hop, Hollywood, it does. So they talking and <clears throat> she uh Nikki was in the convention like I don't know if I should be talking to Nikki. I mean Hazel, but she is an enemy of I mean she's a friend of my enemy, so I guess I can talk to her but i just don't know if i'm ready for it because i'm on loyalty with tiara so uh hazel e that hurt my nose <laughs> so hazel e ass uh walks up in there and i, I y'all forgot what they talk about but they both was like we not friends with this whole uh masika so we gonna uh i'm gonna get her together and this gonna be the last conversation i guess she was just uh Trying to figure out, I guess, what she's gonna say to Masika and all that stuff. But I mean, that was that was that. Yeah, the episode really didn't pick up to uh <laughs> to Masika and Hazel E and them with some reads. But we get to Snoop and Ray J, and boy, Snoop Dog was on it. Atlanta, and he up on this uh, who, where, what is what channel is this? What channel is this? Now, and he uh, he's on mm -mm, this show, whatever this show is, Hollywood, Hollywood. But yeah. So he talking to Ray J and Ray J was like, look, you know, I did stuff with uh, Princess and Snoop was well, Dr. Phil in this mug, Dr. Phil of weed. He was like, look, bro, we, we fall in love with these video hoes, what we want. Oh, no, he said video girls. Sorry. So sorry about that. I just, I don't know. It's It's late. It's early, late. It's to 229. I'm just, I don't know. I'm in my feelings right now. But yeah, he, um, it's like, yo, you know, we fall in love with these video girls and we expect them to be wives. And I'm just like, you right, Snoop. You right. You know, if you want a twerker or this, or, you know, a twerker or a twist or a shaker or, you know, a person to bend the corner, just go get you one. But yeah, right. like they say, you can't turn them into a housewife. So, you know, mm. Ooh, man, and someone's about to come out of my mouth. All right, we're going we gonna to move forward. Let's get into what was funny as hell. Masika and Hazel E. So, Masika come in and... No. Yeah, I think it was Masika come in. Masika comes in and she's like, Hazel E was like, Oh, girl, you wearing black. Uh, She was like, Yes, I'm wearing the death of this friendship color or something like that. And she's like, Oh, oh okay, whatever. And Hazel E persists to be desperate. Uh, person that she is at first I was mistaken because I thought you were my friend And my fake friend And she was like you're epic And Masika was like no I I mean yeah I am epic But you're an epic Phil I was like Remedial Reed But that was cute That was cute So we continue And uh <clears throat> You know they start their little bantering or whatever And then uh Masika's No Hazel is like yeah You and Burger Purple together you're a porn star and uh, he's, uh, I guess, a desperate rapper, which, Hazel Girl, that kind of fits your title too, but I ain't gonna lie about that. But uh, Masika was like, girl, whatever, uh, I did do a, uh, and I ain't gonna mad, be mad at her. She wasn't even mad at it, and I'm just like, I guess that's something, I don't know if that's something to be proud of, but hey, do what you do, do what you do. She was like, yeah, I did, um, what was it, Playboy scripted or whatever, and I was like, hmm, I've watched it though. I've watched, I watched it, ED, ED, <laughs> I watched those for, and I was kind of intrigued, so, you know, she was like, I show a little nipple, blah, 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 but I ain't do nothing, but I'm like, girl, hey, if you want to get your recognition, get you, like, old girl said, you are a BAM, which is, uh, dang, beyond, no, any means necessary, dang, I thought it was BAM, any means necessary, what that girl say, what Hazel Lee say, y'all, <laughs> I forgot, but it was funny. But yeah, then at the end of it, I think Masika had enough of it, so she was ready to walk out. She was no Masika got her first, and she was like, "Yeah, girl, good luck with your 40th birthday." I was like, "Ooh, no, she didn't." And then what else she say? She said your saggy titties and all that other stuff. And I was like, "Ooh, oh, okay." Oh, oh, oh. And then uh, after that, Hazel uh, was like, "Girl, uh." Dang, I forgot what Hazel said, but it was funny. They were talking about plastic surgery. And she was like, yeah, your nose, your lips, and blah, 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 blah. I need to be done, too. And Hazel was like, uh, girl, this is a Jewish nose, and yada, yada, yada. And, uh, girl, uh, what you need to do is worry about that booty and them, uh, 
Oh, what I forgot what she said. But she, I don't know. She ain't called a concrete princess. What she say? The streets of Collins. It was that. It was funny as hell to me. I liked it, and I was like, "Look at y'all, y'all doing uh, housewives' reads and stuff." I'm proud of y'all. Y'all gave me life for the you know second. Okay, so y'all was that really Rick Ross? It didn't show the his name or the be like Rick Ross right there. But I just we just gonna say Maybach music. So Maybach music. Mm -hmm. Seven no, I don't know that song. Let me stop. <laughs> but yeah, he talking to Rick Ross, and he was like, "Well, yeah, I don't. I seriously don't know if that was Rick Ross. Like, was it? I ain't seen Rick Ross in so long. But if it was, it was. If it was, I'm gonna just say it was his cousin, or it was, it was a stunt double that uh, Mona Scott Young hired. So that's what we're gonna say. The stunt double." Talk to him Mario. I was like, Leo, you doing good? And he is really happy about his album. And I'm, you know, happy for him. You go, Mario. He working on it. He's like, he's not doing this for himself. He's doing this for his son. He's not worried about anybody else's recognition. He's worried about the recognition of, you know, his kids. And it's what he want to do. So I'm just like, you know what, Mario? I support you and your uncircumcised penis. What's up with it? So, <laughs> so um, <clears throat> I'm trying to figure what after all that is done. Y'all, Fizz and his son, it was so cute. That was like, oh, it touched my heart. It was just, I love seeing a man and his kid. It's just amazing to me. And <clears throat> he was like, where the turtle, where the turtle? It was just cute, the whole little beach scene. So when niece comes into the picture, she like, y'all did my niece have another car? Like, see, ooh, I don't, I don't like being messy, but like, I thought she was in a maybe she, I thought she was in a van, but maybe she wasn't in a van. But this episode, she had another car. I'm just like, oh, they rentals, but I ain't mad because I can't talk because I ain't got no core. So let me just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pipe it down. But I just, I saw that and I just, I just want to know. I just want to know. So she come into the picture. She's like, this is kind of romantic. And he was like, girl, bye. Nah, he didn't say that. But he was like, yeah, I'm just trying to, you know, cohabitate. And I don't know if he said Amanda Dunn, but he was like, we need to do this. And she was like, yeah, we didn't reconcile our differences from when we broke up. <clears throat> so, um, after all that was said and done, it was cute. He was like, girl, Yeah, come on with your big foot. It's like, Boy, I got a big foot because I weave. I'm like, Girl, no, you don't. <clears throat> your edges can be snatched because of weave, but baby, your big head is her hereditary Dana. That DNA boo boo. That's what that is. So, yeah, um, after all that was said and done, he, she, me was with Cam, and y'all, they were, it's, you know, it was cute. But what was funny, y'all catch that tea? She was like, he, I was hurt so bad. I was a lesbian for two months. Yeah, girl. I had to pop my lips now, girl, for real. Really? And every. Mmm, boy, some stuff. I don't care, I'm gonna say it. Now, if. A dude can turn you into somebody that likes a lesbian. Maybe it is more. I don't think it's more the. His member per se. His you know. His personality. So I'm just like. If somebody knocking it at the frame. I don't think you're going to be a lesbian. So I'm going to just let that sink in. I'm going to let that sink in. <laughs> But I bet he bigger than uh I bet he bigger than uh uh bird. But yeah, that was it. So yeah, at the end of y'all, I loved it. Tierra did her thing. The whole little showcase. Ray walks in. We already knew. He's like, I I got a uh, a present for at the back. And homegirl did good at first. I was scared. I was like, Lord, don't this girl mess up. And y'all, why the hell is sincere? Y'all, why does sincere dress like that? Like he dressed like somebody. Like somebody that's trying to be hip, but it's not. It's like the the aunts that wear the um, fanny packs and all that stuff. Hmm. You get chopped, ho. Like, I don't like sincere. But yeah. You go at your stank ass was a believer now. Hmm. So yeah. Uh, you know, she sung well. And at the end of it, her and I guess what Ray J got back together. And then at the end of it, they was in a car like Bunny and Clyde. Uh, Marion and April are happy. I'm gonna see who else happy. Hazel E with her nose is doing photo shoots and 
voguing for the gods. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to see what else. Um, it was in dang who else? Masika and Berg. They happily ever done. But yeah, that, that's about it, y'all. I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe, and was was it it for you? Did you like it? Was it good? Did we? That was this last episode. I guess it was it was it was cool. Twelve episodes of Love and Hip Hop. That makes a season. So yeah, woohoo! All right, see you guys later.